10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top Allumage Vulcain. Allumage des OAP. Et décollage. trajectoire est nominale. La propulsion est nominale. has just disappeared up into space. I mean, that was incredible. Vincent and Baptiste. La est nominale. The clear skies, the sounds of cameras clicking. And we still have an incredible, incredible image. Incredible image. That's really a bright night. So, Vincent, can you tell Le us now? We're intrigued to know it's disappearing up into space, but what are the next important stages of its journey? Yes, for the, for the time being, the, the launcher is still in its... Uh, initial conditions, that is to say, in still in, uh, in one piece, I, I would say. But in one minute, uh, approximately, the, the two solid uh, booster will separate uh, from uh, the main stage that will occur at uh, precisely at two minutes and 20 seconds. Then uh, one minute later, the, the fairing will be jettisoned. No more atmosphere. So no need to maintain the fairing uh, on the launcher. At eight minutes and 36 seconds, the Vulcan engine will be switched off. And the main uh, cryogenic stage will be separated six seconds later. So the engine of the upper cryogenic stage will be then ignited and will take the reins during more than 16 minutes in order to reach the targeted orbit. La propulsion est nominale, le pilotage est calme. And we have the image of yeah. the booster. We still have it. It's incredible. That's incredible. Separation des EAP. So you have that confirmation. Yes, we, we have the confirmation, yes, as you can see, that the, the two boosters have been successfully separated. So, Vincent, what I would like to ask you is, without these two boosters, the launcher is obviously now lighter than it was at takeoff. Can you tell us more about its weight now? Why does it need these boosters anymore? Uh, yes, so the, the launcher is liberated from any dead weight in order to maximize the, the, capability, the capabilities uh, of the different stages. So that's why, as soon as the solid propellant uh, located inside the booster has been fully consumed, uh, the two boosters are separated. So after this separation, uh, the, the mass of the launcher is only 170 tons to be compared to uh, 770 tons at the lift of time. We still have an in incredible image. That's incredible. And now we're waiting for the next stage. Yes. Separation de la coiffe. Yes, we got confirmation that, the, as you can see on the, on the, on the video, uh, that the fairing has been uh, successfully jettisoned. So here we, we can see the, the spacecraft, yeah. Well, thank you, Vincent. We have five minutes before our next La milestone. So let's talk about Ariane 5's mission. We will come back to the different stages of this flight in a few moments. But before that, I would really like to talk about the specific geostationary orbit that we mentioned at the beginning of this program and towards which Ariane 5 is obviously now heading. First of all, what are the main orbits operated by Ariane Space? Well, uh, for observation and meteosat um, that need to pass over uh, an Earth region at the, at the same uh, local time every day, we use uh, SSO orbit, so a sun-synchronous orbit. For the International Space Station,